Hey, it's your old buddy Microchip here, and I am playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. CNO, which is uh, Chesapeake and Ohio Hinton Division, uh, and this is episode three of this exciting division. Uh, I mean, uh, episode or of this series. I don't know what I mean. Okay, whatever. So, uh, we are still working Graham. Now, don't worry. For those of you who don't like Graham, it's not going to last for very long. Uh, so, uh, let's uh, let's get started. So, what Graham has to do here now, as I mentioned in the last, the end of the last video, he's got to pull this cut of cars right here, but there's no way he's getting all that, that whole cut up the hill. So, we're going to cut it in half. We're going to cut the cut is what we're going to do. All right. So, first, we're going to put on the, uh, apply the handbrake. Then we're going to do that. And then we're going to back up. What is it? Back up or go forward? I think it is go forward. Nope, it's back up. Yeah, I'm right back up to my usual shenanigans. Okay. There we go. So these should already be set. That's correct. This is correct. That is correct, and we're going to bring it back to here. All righty. Here he comes. There we go. Okay. And his 44 tonners. Come on. There we go. This way, and then on the track one. I'm still doing it backwards. No, I'm doing it right this time. All right, here we go. We're going to come over here, attach onto here. It's getting late in the day, late in the work day. 1643, you can see the upper in the right hand corner there, as I've said many times before. We'll go until uh, we go to our next our next uh, vehicle's turn, and then we'll, if it's past 1700, which is 5 o'clock, then we will reset. Okay. Here we go. Reset it back to 9. I like left that thought hanging. We'll reset it back to 9. Alright. So we're gonna uh, pull all these nickel plate box cars. We're gonna pull all of these uh, flat cars with the bricks on them, and then we're also going to pull all of these here. That'll be 19 cars out of 35. Should be able to do it. And then we'll come back down for these on the second uh, on the second leg of the journey. Uh, so right now he's got to pull these out. Let's make sure these are not incorrect, and we're going to want them to go straight. <clears throat> Don't think he'll reach here, but we'll change that just to be safe. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, uh, in the past, uh, I was uh, having him go over onto this track, but this little uh, crossover track here, that really hinders the train's ability to push and pull. So we're not going to do that to the poor dual 44 tonners. All righty. So once the last lumber car gets just up here to the frog, we will uh, stop the train. This is where our engineer would be standing. Because he's going to have to decouple. All right, we got pretty good speed right now. Of course, we're not on the hill, though. These 44 tonners are moving this cut pretty easily. They're not fast, but give them a break, folks. It's 1955. Uh, it's actually 1950 something. I don't know what. Maybe even 40 something? I don't know. 40s or 50s. That's what I remember reading. All right, so we're going to slow down just a bit here now. Because I can see our last lumber car coming here. That's how they used to haul lumber. Most of the time when I see lumber being hauled now, it's on a center beam car. I imagine they still haul some lumber this way. Depending on, you know, the company and whatnot. But most of it is done by center beam cars. All right, so we're going to come over here. We're going to apply the handbrake, decouple, and now back it up. All 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to have to back it all the way up to here. And once we back it up to here, we'll, we'll throw this switch. And then this one's got to be thrown this way because we're going to go up this deadly hill. See the little dwarf signal here on the other side? That's cool. Weird how you can see the lights right through the lumber, though. That doesn't seem right. Okay. Let's cut that off. There we go. That one's already set correctly. Now we are going to push it forward. Push it good. As soon as it comes to a stop, if it ever comes to a stop, it will eventually. It has to, right? Laws of physics have not ceased to exist, even in this simulated world. So he's got a yellow now. Which is approach medium. But the speed limit here is only 20 anyway. And we're only going to get it up to 15. See, now look at now He's having a hard time pushing now. It's only one mile an hour. There we go, two mile an hour. We just doubled our speed. I want to keep this screen on here until we can see the lumber come back up this way. If we ever see the lumber come back, maybe I maybe I cut in too many cars. Hopefully I didn't. No, there's three miles an hour. There it is. Starting to wonder if the video was on pause, but it was not. Yep, that's correct. That's correct. Okay, now these first cars are going to Hinton Freight. The second set of cars are going to Hinton Hardware, uh, and that's the only two places these are going. Now, we have to take some things into consideration. Okay, well, first of all, let's make sure our yeah our points are all set correctly. That's correct, that's correct, that's correct. We're going to run up the hill here. Uh, okay, now, uh, the freight has three tracks to it. It's got this track right here, this track right here, and then this track right here where they can unload. they got these little unloading platforms this is hitting hardware right here now the only th thing we have to take into consideration is that this way back here which is on the other side of the uh freight here this is uh hit uh the new river grocery company here in hinton and we do have some cars that are still down on the track we don't have them with us now but they're still down on track one in the uh hinton yard and they need to be put here. So we got to avoid this track. So these first few are going to go. We'll keep this one straight, right? And then we'll push them up to here. We'll get them as far back as we can. I can't remember now if more have to go up to Hinton Freight. I'm pretty sure they do. But I don't remember that for absolutely sure. So let's uh, ride along with the uh, engineer here. He'd be riding in this. Of course, this is a flat car. You really can't ride on a flat car very safely. On a box car, you got these handles that you can grab onto. See on these on the left here? These two right here, handle, handle. And then these handles over here, here the ladder handles or whatever. These, not so much. They got a place where you can step on and off right there. The little little foot step there, the little foot pedal, foot whatever you call that thing. Uh, but there's nothing to hang on to. And riding on top of the car is dangerous because you're not hanging on to anything. Although back there in the 1940s, back then I should say, I'll bet you they did. I can just imagine a guy sitting here, right here, maybe sitting down or holding on, standing up, holding on, but sitting down with his back up against the uh, wood here and his feet out in front of him. I just can see it happening. I mean, here, you know, on YouTube, it's uh, safety third, but I think back then it was like safety eighth or ninth. Somewhere around there. Money was number one. All right, look at the, he, he's shoving these up no problem. He's got a, he's got it up to ten miles an hour. I thought this might be a problem. Just getting started was a problem. Now he's got some momentum. Let's see if it slows down any as we work our way up. As the hill's going to get steeper and steeper, you see that little dip up here in the track here. That could be a problem. But momentum will get you a long ways. There we go. 
Here comes the dip. Oh, no, we're staying right at 10. Let's take a look back down the train now. There's an impressive shot right there. All right, let's look back down the train. Here, he's still coming around the corner. Okay, very good. Now, we got a bumper at the end of this track, so we got to be careful. Oh, now it's gone down to nine. Now he's starting to feel the weight a little bit more. Shops and stores up here on the left, waiting for their goods. Sure, these are going to be delivered to Hinton and beyond. Okay, we're going to slow down now. Slow down. I'm getting nervous. Slow it down. Okay. Although coming up the hill shouldn't be a real problem slowing down, right? Uh oh, maybe I slowed it down too much. I was redoubling his efforts. Here he comes. Okay, went down to three, but now he's got it up to four. Dropped to three because of slack? Yeah, probably because of slack. All right, here we go up the hill. I'm starting. Are we going to fit all of the uh, lumber cars on this one side? Or are we going to have to stick them on uh, another track as well? Go. You're going to have to do some shuffling. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop it right there. Is that going to get it done? Oh, yeah, look. They can get that off right there. No problem. Uh, how, how? What are we going to miss? Oh, gosh, look at that. It's just barely hanging off. Ah, they could do it. These are these are just uh, two-by-fours, right? There's a pack of two-by-fours. Ah, they can lift them off, right? Here, here, Jim, he'll hand it to Hank, and Hank will walk down here with it. <coughs> They'll get a little hand cart or something. Load them on the hand cart. Yeah, I'm buying all of that. All right, so now uh, this one here is the last one for... <laughs> Excuse me. Coughing attack here. Uh, last one for Hinton Freight right here. The next one down. Oh, yeah, this one's for Hinton Hardware. Okay, so I'm thinking right. Uh, we're going to apply it. Now, let's see if he can back down. And then, uh... No, 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 wrong way. See if he can back down and then get going again a lot while he's still on the hill. That's going to be the challenge. And I don't want to get going too fast here because momentum is going to be heavy going to be great, I should say, with these bricks and then the boxcars, too. We're going to have to back it down to here. Oh, yeah, oh, here we go. All right. Hardware is right up here. And I forget, are these going to, I think these are going to hardware, too. Or no, they might be going to freight. I don't know. Got little stickers on them? Inspected by stickers, is that what those are? Or maybe it's just the uh, company logo. Don't know. Okay, they're strapped down tightly, probably with those metal bands. The bricks don't go flying all over the place. I slow it down a little bit. Let's hit the brakes right now. All right, what do we got here? Here we go. We cleared. We're no longer fouling the switch. Okay, let's let's motor our way up here now. Hear it. We'll screw out the exhaust. Oh. <laughs> slowly fell down the hill there. Come on, boys. Trying. They're trying. But while they're trying, let's make sure the switches are correct. Uh, it'd be a shame for them to push it. See, now that one wasn't correct. They pushed it all the way up here. And I said, no, bag it up. Okay, so here's hitting hardware right here. Yeah, so far, uh, we're going to say nothing because it's, it's still at zero miles an hour. 
We are getting some movement. It might be going like a half mile. All right, let's give it more power. I have feared this might happen. If we got a running start, we'd get it up there. All right, let, let's just go for broke. Just drop, drop the hammer on it. Come on, Graham. Got a steady move now. Yeah, he's got it up to one. Uh, it's the, it's a it's the hill, and then you got that curve in it. That's a killer, and it's just going to get worse right here. Okay, what do we what do we do? So I got I got to make a decision. Are we going to go for it, or are we going to back it down and get a running start? I mean, this is slow. This is really slow. I mean, this game is slow by nature, but this is really slow. Okay, let's get a running start. This is going to be way too slow. I'm going to back off. There we go. Yep. We're going to back it down. I don't know. Just beyond these steam engines sitting right here. You can look at the pretty steam engines. While we're waiting for this to come back down. Still a little bit of an incline, but we'll see what kind of push we get once we start it up. And this is why I was saying there's no way it was going to get that full cut up there. There was just no way that was going to happen. Alrighty. Yard master's got to be shaking his head right now, wondering what the heck's going on. All right, Graham. Hit the brakes. Yep. Yep. You can take a real long time to stop. Hello. All right, come on. You got it. All right, now let's juice it. All right, we got a better. Now we're already up to one. So, oh, we got it to two now. Look at us. We've doubled our speed. Backing down and going back up seems to have worked in our favor. All right, now I'm going to look also. These are all going to hit. In fact, all of these are going to hit in hardware. Even the uh, nickel plate uh, box cars. These are all going to hit in hardware. A whole lot. I think we could park three cars in front of their unload dock up there. I mean, it looks like a warehouse, not an actual store. All these look like a warehouse, well, except for the, uh, except for uh, the uh, slaughterhouse on the end there. That Swifted Company. Then there's this water treatment plant right here, and they have an unloading dock themselves. You can see right here. You'll see it. You already saw it earlier. You'll see it. Yard lights are coming on. It is 16.59. So here's their unload dock. Their unload dock right here. Some burning in the corner there. Like a barrel burning in the corner. They try to stay warm or something. Roasted marshmallows. All right, now the question is, are we going to fit all of this onto here out of the way? Because we're going to have to come up this track to get to uh, the grocery and the uh, go on this side of the uh, unloading dock for uh, hidden freight. So let's see what happens. If not, we can just stick them on this track right here just to get them out of the way. Whatever ones don't fit. But the bricks, I would imagine, would be the heaviest, even though they're on flat cars. Boss cars obviously have more weight when they're empty. I think when full, these flat cars might have more weight. I could be wrong. All right, so let's go over here. 
Bell. Brady. Let's slow it down a bunch. Here he comes. All right, stopping it right there. What do we got? To get these off? I think so. I mean, it's it past the end of the dock, but they set up a board here, right? They can go here, unload these two first, and they can walk here, unload, and bring it back. I'm going to say yes. I could be wrong. Of course. No. <laughs> Let's back it up. It only do two. Let's back it up. Let's... Let's not parse. Uh, we'll back it up to get them both in, in place. Okay, what did I say? I said we'll back it up and get them both in place. There we go. Because we got enough room anyway that it's going to clear the track down there, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, a little bit more. Come on. I thought going downhill was going to be a lot faster than this. There we go. All right, so two at a time is what we can unload here. Very good. We're going to come over here. We're going to apply the handbrake, and we're going to uncouple... And then we're going to catch on here and head on back down. There we go. Now we're going to grab that second half of this cut. Start it off with. Okay. Let's take a look inside. What are we looking at here? Oh, yeah. Dynamic brake, your independent brake. Horn? Oh, nothing is clickable in here. Cool, though, isn't it? The horn right there, I believe. Gauges seem to be working, I think. Yep. Lights and stuff like that. Throttle. If I decrease the throttle, does it move in here? It does not. Good, good experiment. Okay, so let's go uh, back outside here. All right. Go back down the hill. Hook up to that cut. That will be the end of Graham's turn. He had a long turn. He had a whole episode all to himself. And looks like he's going to get a half another half episode here. You screen hog. And Graham's driving this, right? So there's Graham right here, right? That. I ask you who that is. Graham's brother. We agreed to allow him to take him uh, and uh, help him out here. Uh, but uh, we told him he will not be paid. You want to ride around for funsies, go ahead. But we, we are not paying you. Graham's our employee. He agreed. I'm not getting a good view of the yard here again. I'm about to see what order these cars come in. <clears throat> I'm praying that uh, the grocery box cars are going to be on the far end, as far away from the uh, locomotives as you can get them. I think they're all together. I'm pretty sure they're all together. And then they're on the, the farthest part. That way I can shove those up into the grocery. That'll leave me room then to do the freight. Stock cars there. All right. We'll go over this way. Come on down. Back up. Gonna come over this way. Of course, when I was up there, I rang the bell for hitting hardware and the horn, but I didn't do that for hitting freight. That seems not right. Do I not care about the people that hit freight? 
I'm not going to give him a warning. Get out of, you know, you work here at your own risk. Graham and his 44 tonner are going to get you. <laughs> Whatever. All right, here, here comes Graham now. Let's hook up to this uh, second part of this cut. A lot fewer cars this time. So it should be lighter. Plus, there's no bricks. Here we go. Those uh, all going, all the uh, things going back this way. The switch is going back this way. Should be all set already. Right. Check it once. We don't do the first time. Okay. I'll pull these out now. Okay. Let, let's go over here and latch on to the last one. Okay. Hold on. Emergency mute. I always record these right after lunch, uh, and uh, I get a lot of schmutz in my throat area, so I got to clear it out. So I emergency muted you so I could make a a whatui kind of a thing, you know. All right. So anyway, uh, so yeah, the the New River groceries are all on this end, which is fantastic. Uh, so it's the one, two, three, four box cars here. They're the uh, New York Central ones. Then the ones before that are hitting hardware. Then the two. Uh, these are the uh, flat cars with the lumber on it. Are freight. I was afraid of that uh, because uh, that's going to make it a little bit more challenging. But that's why they're paying me the big bucks. Imaginary simulated big bucks. Okay. These are going up definitely to New River Grocery. So it stops and beef it. There he goes. Push him up now. He's a struggling. Surprised, I thought I wouldn't have this much trouble. He's already got it up to two miles an hour, though. All right, so these are going to New River Groceries. That's correct. That's correct. These are all going to be correct, but I'll check them again. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, very good. Up here, this one's not correct, but I expected that one. Oh, no, no, it is correct. Yeah, it is correct. We're going to go this way, and then we're going to switch it this way. Through here, and then we're going to take them all the way through to New River Groceries. Then we got quite a few going to hit hardware. Uh, the hardware ones, we could bump some into here, but we probably won't. We'll probably just uh, start storing them on this track here until those are all done. Yep. That's what I'm imagining. Because as you can see here in the tagger, like I said, the last four are our New River Grocery. Then we got some hitting hardwares. Then the two flat cars are hitting freight. And then it's a whole bunch more for uh, Hinton Hardware. They must be supplying the entire Tri-County area. All It's not just Hinton Hardware. It's all the hardwares. All right, we got a good, good pace going here now. Well, she's all the way up to New River Grocery. After this, uh, after we're done with Duke here, after he uh, sets these cars out, we are going to uh, go to Andrew. Andrew is actually sitting right over here. Can't see it, but the passenger station that might be it there. I don't think so. That might be it right there. Uh, but uh, he's sitting over there at the passenger station. We saw him in an earlier episode sitting there, uh, and he is going to have to go through some engine maintenance. We're going to bring him over here, 
We are going to dump the ash, and then we are going to uh, fill them up with some water, and then we're going to fill up with some coal. And when all three of those are done, he'll be ready to do his run again uh, down the track. He runs it all the way up to somewhere. He runs it all the way up to uh, Mount Hope, I think, is as far as this one away. Uh, no, PAX. P-A-X. Uh, he runs it all the way out to PAX, and then he runs it all the way back down, hitting all the stations on the way down that he hit on the way up. That's what he does. I right, go past the water tower here. Ram is just being a time hog. He is, but God, I love doing this. <laughs> I like doing this. Makes me feel like a railroader. This hump here. This time, let's warn the, the good people at Hidden Freight, huh? Got the bell on. I can't hear it. There we go. Watch out, folks. Here we come. Don't back up too far when you're on a platform unloading uh, these uh, lumber because you'll back right into this and maybe get bumped off the station and then maybe lose a limb or an arm as the flanges slice through you like hot butter. Let's not think about that. That seems unpleasant. All right, so we're going to slow it down here. <coughs> Gums. All right, we got a bumper on this one, too, but as we're pushing uphill, it's not going to be too hard to not hit it. I swear to God, if I hit it. Here we go. I think we're able to get all four in here. Maybe yes, maybe no. Don't know. Slow it down some more. Now you got to remember, you don't want to get right up against it because eventually when you come to couple up with this uh, cut later on, too close to this, you could, you could derail or do damage to the uh, knuckle or whatever. Yeah, we're just three at a time before we're going to get done. That's all right. Now we're going to apply. We're going to cut it right there. And now we're going to back back down. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> okay. These are all hit hardware except for those two, these two right here. So what we're going to do, like I said, we, we could put a few more cars here. But I'm not going to go through that trouble. What I'm going to do is is I'm going to uh, stick these onto this track right here. Then we could actually uh, take and put these two right here to get unloaded right here. Where did it mute again? Now I got an itch in my throat. I don't know. All right. Here we go. Kill the bell there. Let's hope my master plan works here by sticking those boss cars up that way. And let's hope he can get going on this hill again. Are we going to get, a, get another running start? Yeah, he's having a hard time breaking. I don't know. 
does not bode well for our ability to get back up the hill here in mid-hill. Full breakage. There we go. Now let's go. Come on, Graham. Beef it up, buddy. You can do it. Just ram that into notch four or five. Right from the get. Don't even worry about it. You're going uphill. You're not going to break any couplers. Got a little bit of momentum going here. We're only at about halfway up on our notches. 55% of the way up to be exact. Here we go. We got a little momentum now. Nope. Let's put it all the way in notch eight. Notch eight it. This hill is just a killer. Come on, Hill. Stop being a jerk. All right. How much further we got to go? Yeah. I really, really don't want to <clears throat> get a running start on this one. I really just want to get it up the hill now. Okay, now we got the two. We've doubled it. It's a good sign. We got it at notch eight. God, these nickel plate ones are really good looking, aren't they? New York City and St. Louis. I think we'll fit these first five or six, well, one, two, three, four, five, onto this side track here. Fit the two lumber flat cars right here. Then how many cars we have after that? New York City ones back here. Five more of those there. might I'm not sure what we're going to do we won't fit all five here I don't think oh, look at these now huh? let's see if this is right it would hit about right here which would leave us yeah down here it's going to be too close we five, huh? more. so we can just stick them up in here maybe Actually, Graham could probably just hang on to them, right? Right in the track they're going to be in. Can't be unloaded now anyway. They're all going to hit hardware. They'll just... Graham will just hang on to them. So we'll drop these here. We'll drop those two there, and then we'll be all set. This, this uh, track's a bit longer than I thought it was. Okay. Go. Sneak it right there. Stop it about right, 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 right there. Lots of room. Nice. Okay. Apply the handbrake. Decouple. Get on the right train. Back up. And we're just going to clear. Whoa, hey, hi. We're just going to clear uh, this uh, one right here. Trying to inch down now. So that it doesn't take a mile and a half to stop while going downhill. All right, hit the brakes as soon as it clears that point. As soon as that little yellow lock. Still didn't clear. Still didn't clear. We're country miles still. There we go. All right. Now let's see what she's got. Give it to her, Graham. Kick it up. There we go. Put you got not notch four right from the get. Oh come on. P 
people are watching this is embarrassing. All right, notch ate it. I'll just crank it as high as it'll go. I see some movement. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Well, I would kill for an SD40-2 right now. Hear them. They're still gearing up back here. Throwing out all kinds of exhaust. Graham and his brother, Sam. Graham and Sam. That's it. They've hit, they've hit top, and we're not going very fast at all. Gosh darn it. All right. All right, let's stop him. He's not going to be able to push him up. We're going to have to back up and then uh, get a running start. That's what we're going to have to do. Wonder if we can get it past the water tower and then take a run at it. Yeah, I don't know, it might be still too hilly here, but we'll we'll give it a shot, why not? What do we got to lose? Back it down here. All right, let's stop it right there. I said we'll stop it right there. Right there. <laughs> yep. He's got the independent and auto brake just slammed as far as it'll go. Still falling back. Alright, let's see what kind of results we get here now. Last time, we couldn't even hit one mile an hour. This time, looks like we get some instant movement. Okay, look at that. We're up to one mile an hour already, so backing down seems to be working. Once again. Here it goes. Hey, it's painful. There we go. Look at that. We've doubled our speed now. We're going like a bat out of Haiti at two miles an hour. Doesn't sound fast, so you think we were only doing one mile an hour a while ago, so it is indeed twice as fast. Here. Yep, it checks out. The math checks out. All right, so uh, he got it up to... Now he's up to three. Ah, let me juice him a little bit more. Come on. I want to sit right here because I'm thinking this is... This is going to be the, the thumbnail coming up right here. Graham pushing this up the hill. I'll call it upsy daisy or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Unless I go something better. I don't know. Yeah, there it is right there. There's our thumb. Okay. Let's get it all the way up the hill here now. Greyhound bus just materialized out of nothingness. Matter cannot be created nor destroyed unless it's a Greyhound bus. Everyone knows this. Okay, so we're doing six. Let's put let's give it a notch eight again. Yeah, look at that. Now we're getting somewhere. I don't want to go any faster than 10 miles an hour, though. Okay. Hopefully they applied the uh, 
and brake sell these cars uh, really well, because if not, we're going to have problems with cars rolling down this hill. That could be dangerous, like people's lives could be lost. Dial it back down now. Found it right there. We're going to dial down some more. Found it right there, and then we're going to stop. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a uh, smooth move, X Lax. All right, let's, let's uh, back it up just a little bit. A little too close to that bumper for when we have to uh, reconnect later on. Right there ought to do it. All right. Uh, technically, we're kind of out of time, but not especially. I really don't know what that means. Uh, but I'm going to put you on pause. Uh, figure out we're going to do one more thing for today. Okay, so uh, I was calling. I'll say we're going to Andrew next, who is the passenger train. Andrew's not driving. That's Adair. Adair's driving the passenger train. This is Andrew here. We are coming to Andrew. Remember, uh, Andrew was up here in Thurmond, and he is offloading these uh, stock cars here to Swift and Company. Uh, now you see these two are still full of cattle. Uh, these four now are not full of cattle, and we got no more room left. So we're going to pull this forward uh, until he clears this switch here, and then we're going to back him uh, up. Now, is he oil-fired? I think he is. Is he oil-fired? Yeah, he's oil fired. Uh, so uh, that's nice. All right, so uh, we're going to move him forward now. Classic, classic train noise. Okay, well, let me check the switch real quick. I'm, I'm rooting the shot. Here he comes. Away from to clear this, we're going to shove these four down this track, and then we'll have enough room to unload the last two. We've got to do it one at a time. Such is the life of a railroader. Here we go. Now we're going to back him up. over this way. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, don't get crazy. That's crazy fast now. We aren't on a hill here, so there's no reason to get going like that. All right. Okay, we're going to stop him right there. Apply the handbrake. Uncouple and go forward. There he goes. Nice shot of it here. Nice close look at the engine there. Dude, that's a jointed rail one. There we go. Now we're going to back him up and line this stock car right up here with the... Uh, Unload ramp there for the cows. Is that right? Yeah. There we go. Start the bell up again because we're getting near where workers work. see if we can line this up. I've done this many times. Missed it many times. And I've gotten it perfect many times. That's well, like 50-50. Here we go. 
I mean, look at that. It's one of the perfect times. Boom. There we are. Okay. Uh, so that's all Andrew has to do right now. Uh, and you know what? We're going to end the video right here. Yep. We're now over time. I didn't. I, I promised you at the beginning it wasn't going to be all Graham. I could have stopped right after Graham because we were like at 46 minutes at that point. But I decided, no, I promised the whole thing would be Graham. Of course, I didn't realize that 97% of it was going to be Graham. But what are you going to do? Okay. Hope you had fun. Uh, hope you're watching my other one, too, my other series, which is uh, Trains uh, 2019 Platinum Edition for uh, Tidewater Point. That's a modern one if you want to watch that one. Plus, I'm making farming videos if you like farming, huh? Why not? So go ahead, subscribe, tell all your friends what's going on. Uh, have them come and watch some videos. Uh, and that would be, you know, much appreciated. Uh, so next time we get started here, we're going to start with the passenger train, uh, Adair, and we're going to get him, uh, through the, uh, engine, uh, refill stage. We're going to have him, like I said before, uh, dump his ash. We're going to refill him with coal, put some water in him too. Uh, if that doesn't appeal to you and you're like, I don't care. Wait a minute. Why is this turning right here? Look, that bar is moving. Why is that happening? No, 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 stop. Was it like barely on or something? The wheels were totally slipping. <laughs> okay, freakiness right at the end here. Uh, but uh, if you don't like the fact that we're going to be doing all Adair the next time, well, you know what? This just may not be the channel for you. <laughs>